of the view, Busby. Once you've been to Auntie Bee's art class tonight. All the family will be there. Well, nearly all. What do you mean, nearly all the family? Who isn't coming? Oh, um, um, I won't be there, Busby. Jump likes to have a walk around that time. You have to come to art class, Grandpa. But, um, art's not really my thing, Busby. If you come, it will help me swing my highest ever. I'm sorry, Busby. <sighs> Nervous, excited. I don't think Grandpa's changed his mind. What makes you say that, Busby? There's only one seat left for Ruby. <laughs> Grandpa, you came! Indeed, I did. Uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Your model for today, Ruby. <laughs> or should I say, girl with flower. <laughs> You're going to have to keep still, love. <laughs> I know, Mama. If anyone needs help getting started, just ask me. I do pictures all the time. <laughs> Go on, sis. Splash some colour on. You can relax now. Why don't we all enjoy each other's work? Oh, that's uh, nice, Grandpa. Hmm. How's my little honey bee? Oh, we had lots of fun. We did finger painting, didn't we, baby? <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> I won't be able to babysit next time. I'll be away. Oh, that's all right. I'll babysit. Are you sure, Grandpa? <laughs> There's no need for Grandpa to miss art class. Now Baby's an artist. She can come too. Oh. Grandpa would have been at art class, Busby. It's just that he promised Katie Pillar he'd look after the greenhouse. And there's lots to do. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and help him. OK. Good idea. I thought you'd be busy, Grandpa. Yeah, what, what? Who? Oh, oh, hello, Busby. If you'd finished, why didn't you come to art class? Um, well, I, um, oh, oh, Busby. I'm just no good at it. To be honest, I'm afraid to try. Hmm. Poor Grandpa. I didn't know anyone could be afraid to make a picture. <laughs> Grandpa, did you plant those seeds? Yes, I did. There are flowers inside them, aren't there? Yes, that's right, Busby. Wouldn't it be sad if the flowers didn't get a chance to grow? Busby? I think there's an artist inside you, Grandpa. Do you really think so? I know so. Come on. I'm going to help your artist to burst out like a flower. <laughs> Here he is, Auntie B. Hit the music. Just relax and let yourself go, Dad.
marvellous. Welcome to the exhibition. I wish I could be that bold with colour. Who painted these? <laughs> I did. It turns out I am an artist after all. <laughs> well, oh, I well, know. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, crap. Who thought it, eh? <laughs> Just the same old things on the same old route. But isn't it fun being our postman? It used to be, but I'm feeling old. I'm ready for retirement. My Grandpa B is retired. It's when you put her about in the garden. Aye, put your feet up. That'd be nice. But who deliver our letters? A postman with a bit more bounce in their legs. But we'd all miss you. Ah, well, onwards and upwards. <laughs> Sorry, Postman Spider, you're not retiring just yet. Just a minute. I've got a special delivery for you today. Oh, what do I do with that then? Drink it, silly. It's a special energy smoothie. Busby, come and clean this up, please. Coming, Papa. It's full of vitamins. It will give you back your bounce. Oh, oh dear. I'm not sure your smoothie agrees with me, Busby, but thanks anyway. <sighs> I'll have to think of something else. Postman Spider needs to do less walking. He can build him some wings. That might be quite tricky, Barnaby. <laughs> oh, hello, boys. I'm rather fixed. Can you help? Of course we can, Lord Bartleby. Ah, Mr. Millipede's megaphone's on the brink. It needs dropping back with him for mending. But that will make me late for Elevenses with the Queen. Oh, don't worry. We'll take it to Mr. Millipede for you. Ah, marvellous. Thank you so much. <laughs> it definitely does need mending. We're going to use it to help Postman Spider. Post is here. Come and get your post. I'm not sure this is going to catch on, Busby. It will once people know you're here. They'll come and collect their own post. It'll save your legs and then you won't need any bounce. I can't see anybody coming, Busby. I don't think it's catching on. That's just what I said, Barnaby. All right, I'll just take the megaphone to Mr. Millipede. What's wrong with this then? Oh, I see. Are they your roller skates, Mr. Millipede? Yes, useful for moving things around when my trolley's out of action. I don't need them at the moment, though. Could I borrow them for Postman Spider? Oh, of course. Help yourself. Thanks. Skates won't just give him bounce. They'll give him zoom and whoosh, too. Bye, Mr. Millipede, and thanks. It's a good job I never throw anything away. Right all along, I've just got no bounce left. Oh. You know I always sit in that chair, Busby. Ruby. Papa, you've finished the honey wells and I don't like wheaty combs. Oh, don't you want your toast, Mama? 
I do want it, but I can't eat it until I have my cup of tea. I wonder if we're all getting a bit set in our ways. Hmm, you might have a point. Maybe I'll try having juice with my toast. And Ruby, why don't you sit in my chair? <coughs> Wheaty combs taste great out of my milk cup. Just a few little changes have made breakfast a lot more fun. I feel really bouncy. Bouncy? Please may I be excused? Oh, okay. Bye. So, what do you think? Ah, little changes, you say? That's right. Like, I don't know, the route you take. Well, I suppose I could do the school before Dr. Beetle's surgery. That'd be a change. <laughs> Um, instead of humming, how about whistling? Oh, I like that. And how about wearing your bag on the other side? Oh, that's much more comfortable. Hooray! Hey, diddly do, Miss Ladybird. How are you today? Oh, wonderful, thanks. You sound bouncy, Postman Spider. Ha-ha! <laughs> I feel bouncy! <laughs> hey, diddly do! That's a new one! I think retirement can wait, Busby! Hooray! Postman Spider, could I possibly borrow those roller skates, please? <laughs> thanks! Changing my routine has made me feel so much better. Thank you, Busby. That's OK, Postman Spider. your voice and plays it back. Say something, Busby. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another go? I have to go home now. I'm going shopping with Mum. Oh. oh, I didn't get a go. Neither did I. I know. You can all borrow it and give it back later. <gasps> Thanks, Debbie. Bye. 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 See you later, Debbie. Debbie. Uh, my name's Ruby. Uh, so all about me. My favourite thing is pollen stoppers. My favourite thing is pollen stoppers. I also like sprinkles on my nectar Gino. I also um, like sprinkles. can I have a go now? In a minute. And these are my top five berries. Five, blackberry, four, strawberry. Debbie lent it to all of us, Ruby. You can have it when I finished. You've had it for ages. Give it here! <gasps> oh no! Got it! Phew! My turn! Whoop! Uh oh! We better check that it's okay. It's not flashing. <gasps> it's broken. Oh no. What will Debbie say? Let's take it to Papa Bee. He's great at fixing things. Hmm. Well, it's difficult to know what's wrong with it. But can you fix it? Hmm. Well, I'll go and fetch my tools. Now, where did I put my toolbox? <gasps> tools. I know who's good at fixing things. Come on! Huh? Oh! Ah. Right, here we are then. Let's... Oh! Where did they go? Can you fix it, Mr Millipede? Uh, well, I have lots of cars I need to work on. Um, well, I'm sure I can squeeze in a toy. Yes! 
Uh, no, let's see. Um, uh, can you bring it in next Tuesday afternoon? Next Tuesday? Thanks, Mr Millipede, but we have to give it back to Debbie today. Oh, oh gee, hmm. Maybe we could give Debbie another toy to make up for breaking the chatterbug. Busby, you could give her your teddy bee. Teddy bee? No way! Why don't you give her one of your honey patch dolls? <gasps> I'm not giving away my honey patch dolls. How about we all put our pocket money together and buy Debbie a new chatterbug? Give away our pocket money? But that's not fair. You did drop it, Jasper. So did you. We all wanted to play with it. And it was really kind of Debbie to lend it to us. So we should all help to buy her a new one. I agree. <sighs> OK. We've got just enough money for a chatterbug. I hope they haven't sold out. <gasps> It's Debbie! Oh no! She's seen us! Hi! What are we going to do? Hi! Hi! Hi Debbie! What, what are you doing here? Mum's in the shop. I'm waiting for her. Where have Jasper and Barnaby gone? Um. They're just playing with your totally fine chatterbug. Say something, Jasper. Uh, fancy a game of football? Fancy a game of football. How about hide and seek? How about hide and seek? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I heard about the problem you've been having with your toy. A problem? What problem? We're really sorry, Debbie. We broke your chatterbug. That's why we were on our way to Ant Hill Stores. We put our pocket money together to buy you a new one. Well, well, I've got something that can help. Why don't you try these new batteries first, eh? Yes, it's working. Thanks, Grandpa B. Sorry we didn't tell you sooner. Yeah. We're really sorry, Debbie. Sorry, Debbie. sorry about this. I can't believe you all put your pocket money together. Just for me. That's because we're your best friends. Best Bright and early. That's because Postman Spider has had the best idea ever. Oh, well, I was thinking... Mum's had a brilliant idea too. Jasper, don't interrupt people. Sorry, Postman Spider. Please go ahead. Oh, no, not at all. Ladies first. Thank you. With the summer evenings getting longer, I thought I could start an after-school club. What a wonderful idea. I'm sure the children would love that. Well, I never. That was my idea too. I've got it all planned out with camping. I've been planning my club for weeks. So have I. Miss Ladybird, I believe I mentioned the idea first, so it's only fair that I run the club. But that's only because I politely let you. Oh, um. Well, I don't see why we can't have two clubs. The children can decide which they would like to join. Fine. Fine. That's settled then. I'll see you both after school so the children can pick a club. This should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two new after-school clubs starting today. You can choose Postman Spider's Club. Team Adventure! Or Mrs Wasp's Club. Team Explorer! Right. 
Oh, children, please pick the team you'd like to join. <laughs> <laughs> team Explorer is the best club with the best name. Hooray! Yay! No way! We're going to have the best adventures and the best fun. Hurrah! Hooray! We should have a competition to decide which team is best. Great idea, Busby. Let's have a camp craft competition. Yes. Whoever can build the best camp, create a campfire and tie a perfect knot will be the winner. Yay! Yay! Do you think that's a good idea? Miss Ladybird can be our judge. Yay! Yay! What are we waiting for? Let's go! You're on camp building. Jasper, you're on firewood. Debbie, you're on knots. All good, Team Explorer? All good! Team Explorer! Here we are, lads. This is the spot for our camp. Cool! Yay! Great! If we're going to win, we're going to have to be winners. So, what are we? Winners! That's right. Busby, you can help build the camp with me. Barnaby, you search for firewood. And Snail, you're on knots. <laughs> Team Adventure, let's go! Team Adventure! Now to see Team Explorers Camp. Mm, nice. I see. Well, I think I've made my decision. I think both camps are as good as each other. Which means it's down to the knots. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Actually, I think you'll find it's the other way round. I'm afraid you're quite wrong. Oh, no, 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 I seem to be missing the wood from my cucumber frames, and lots of my flowers are broken. <gasps> Does anyone know anything about it? Sorry, Katie Pillar, that might have been us. We didn't know the wood was for your cucumbers. We just wanted our team to win. But why are you in two teams? Why not make one big team and play together? I think Katie Pillar may have a point. This has got a bit out of hand. I agree. Let's stop this silliness and have one big after-school club. We can be the Adventure Explorers Club. Hooray! 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 Mrs. Wasp, you can decide what the Adventure Explorers do next. Oh, no, I couldn't. Gentleman first, Postman Spider. I've got a suggestion. How about a little bit of woodwork or gardening? That sounds like a very good idea. Come on, everyone, to the greenhouse. Let's go, Team Adventure Explorers. Come, Come on, Adventure
it's nearly bedtime. But sleepovers are so exciting. I know, but you do need to sleep, otherwise you'll be tired in the morning. Oh no, I forgot my alarm clock. I'll need it to wake up. Not to worry, you don't always need a clock. You can tell the time in other ways. What ways? Well, there are clues, like watching the sun. When it rises, the birds sing a dawn chorus so we know it's getting up time. So, I won't need my clock. The birds will wake me up. That's right. The birds' dawn chorus is an excellent time clue. A clue? Detectives look for clues, don't they? Detectives! <coughs> Barnaby, we can be time detectives! <sighs> is that your clue, Papa? It certainly is. <laughs> Bedtime now for you two time detectives. <laughs> night, night. Night, night. <laughs> What's that noise? It must be a clue. <laughs> the dawn chorus was great. I wonder what the next clue will be. That's Postman Spider with the morning post. Letter time. I know what clue is coming next. Breakfast time. Yippee! I think I might quite like being a time detective. Another egg, Barnaby. We haven't got time, Barnaby. We need to find more clues. Clues? We're being time detectives, looking for clues to tell the time. We've had the birds' chorus time, letter time and breakfast time. Very clever. So what's your next clue? Um. What about looking for shadows? Shadows? If you look on the ground in the morning, the shadows are long. In the middle of the day, when the sun's high in the sky, the shadows are short. Cool! Come on, Barnaby! Let's look for some shadows to measure! Have fun, detectives! Don't be late for the lunchtime picnic! There's one! There, there! Right behind you! Stop messing about, Barnaby. We're supposed to be proper time detectives. But look, Busby, you have a shadow right behind you. You've got one too. What are you two doing? We're being time detectives. Trying to measure shadows to tell the time. What for? I already know what time it is. It's roundabout time. <laughs> Measure the shadows, Jasper. Oh! Now what are you time detectives going to do? We'll have to ask somebody, I suppose. Oh, hello there. What are you all up to? We're time detectives. They are. I'm not. Do you know what time it is, Grandpa? Oh, yes. It's walk time, isn't it, Jump? Whoa! Jump can't tell the time! <laughs> oh, yes, he can. When Postman Spider delivers our post in the morning... Letter time! That's right! When Jump hears that ding-dong, he knows straight after it's his walk time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! What are you doing this fine morning? We're looking for clues to help us tell the time. Well, you've come to the right place. There's lots of time clues in nature. These lovely flowers open their petals when it gets light and close up just before it gets dark. Like going to bed as if they were sleepy. Exactly. They curl up their petals and go to sleep. That one thinks it's bedtime already. Well, that flower is a sunflower and needs full sunshine to wake up properly. A bit like me, really. <laughs> What's the matter with this one? Oh, that little beauty, the moon daisy. It needs the light of the moon to open. You have to stay up late to see that one. Flowers have given us lots of clues. Thanks, Katie Pillar. I wonder how many more clues there are. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, 
Ah. Sorry, Dr Beetle. We're hunting for time clues. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, who would have a four? We're time detectives. I thought you didn't want to be one. Ah, yes. Clues, uh, detectives, time. What? Time? Oh, time! Ah, my goodness, the time. Yes, uh, I have to go. Uh, one more patient to see before lunch time, you see. <laughs> uh, yes. Did he say lunch time? That's a really good clue. <laughs> Rumble tum time! Perfect timing. However, did you manage without a clock? You must be excellent time detectives. We've found lots of ways to tell the time. Letter time, walk time, sunflower time, <laughs> and rumble tongue time. <laughs> <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>